Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corinne and today I am going to be sharing with you my first trimester must-haves. So I am going to be referring to my phone here and there um, just because I do have a list and then I also have some products that I'm going to just show as I go. So without further ado, let's get started. And um, the number one most important thing for me during my pregnancy and pretty much I think for any pregnancy ever has just been drinking water so my number one must have is a giant water bottle so you just want to keep it refilled all day every day stay on top of drinking water um, you really can't overdo it it's super important to keep your amniotic fluid levels up as you go and stuff like that and just also you know helps with all the different kind of ailments that you might experience during pregnancy and um, I mean it's just awesome so don't forget drink your water <laughs> so that's number one and then number two is something that actually one of my friends kind of suggested to me who's also pregnant and that is a mixture um, a beverage mixture of the following things so got and this might not be for everybody, but it's got a whole slew of benefits and I will link actually an article down below about like what the benefits are of this combination, specifically these two, <laughs> specifically these two, the apple cider vinegar. Okay, so this, I can't, you can't really see. <laughs> there we go. Um, so this is an organic one from Whole Foods, unfiltered, so it has like kind of the stuff floating around in it. So don't be afraid, it's good for you. So apple cider vinegar, and then pink Himalayan salt, and I just get the one with the crystals and I have a grinder, so. And then, so those two are like the main ones, but then also um, an organic lemon essential oil and I have doTERRA right now but um, I'm not like oh, you have to use doTERRA it's the most important thing in the world it's just it's a good one it's organic it's food great so um, good to go but that is a really great mixture um, like I said I'll link the article down below so you can do your own research on it um, if you feel comfortable consuming the essential oils and you have a good one um, that's a really good drink to make just because it's like uh, the apple cider vinegar I know is really good for like heartburn during pregnancy it's like a good natural remedy and um, I have been lucky enough to not experience like a ton of it but it's really good for that when you do um, okay and then the next big item is this natural vitality calm gummies they're anti-stress which you know me outside of this um, and actually just even in my previous video I talked about this a little bit like outside of pregnancy but also during pregnancy I have been like a huge ball of anxiety just you know there's so many things that are out of your control during pregnancy and um, I was definitely uh, having a hard time just accepting not being in control of things that was like causing my anxiety to ramp up and stuff so these gummies are magnesium citrate and it's a raspberry lemon flavor and i think that they have maybe a natural like flavorless one too but they also have a like powder that you can mix into drinks like um just like hot water or even mix it with tea or whatever um but magne magnesium citrate is one of the um, easiest forms of magnesium for the body to digest so this is a really good helpful remedy for some pregnancy stress that I've been having and also magnesium is really good for like sore muscles and cramps and stuff like that so that has been hugely hugely helpful for me obviously talk to your doctor before you start taking any supplements at all but that's a good one um, next one in addition to constantly always in my entire life having major anxiety and stuff um, I've also had some like digestive issues um, so these next products have to do with that and so these are good natural things for just helping promote 
digestion, um, just in general, in general, but also during pregnancy. So this one, um, these are papaya digestive support enzymes. Um, and they're just like little chewable. It's kind of like Tums, um, like consistency, um, but they're just more natural than Tums. It's papaya is just like really good for digestion. So um, I've been taking these for years and I love them. So they taste kind of like candy, but they're good for you. <laughs> Yay fruit. <laughs> and then in addition to those, I also, these are two doTERRA products that I have been really liking. Um, I liked them before I got pregnant and I just continued liking them. Um, these ones are, again, like kind of the consistency of Tums, um, but it's all like essential oils. And then these ones, the soft gels are soft gels um, and they have essential oils in them. So uh, I do like taking stuff like that more than like Tums or Pepto. I just think that those things are filled with more like natural, better for you ingredients. So I go with that. And then this is my handy little like pouch of um, essential oils for just helping upset tummy. And I love them, but also my husband has started to really love them and he's like, mm, I need your magic potions. So this is the blend that I use. It's a couple of random ones, I um, like doTERRA and a couple other um, essential oil companies have their own uh, uh, blends that are for digestive support, but I just make my own because I really like these four oils specifically. Um, and that is this one, rosemary. And this one is just a now foods one. I don't consume these, so it's not like overly important to me to have all like the food grade essential oils. So again, um, rosemary. And then this one, fennel. Um, okay, focus. It's still being weird. Okay, so fennel. Lavender. And peppermint. Okay. Not loving the focus, but that's okay. Um, so that is my magic potion for upset tummy. And I just think A, it smells absolutely amazing, but also um, it has different properties. Like the lavender is really good for stress relief and um, just the peppermint kind of has like more um, like pain remedy kind of properties to it. Um, all of those are pregnancy safe ones. Um, and I'll get to more of these books later, but I'm also reading this book, Essential Oils for Pregnancy, Birth, and Babies. It is by Stephanie Fritz. She is the essential midwife. And so this book is all about safe consumption uh, or safe use of essential oils during pregnancy and labor and afterwards. So it's pretty awesome. Um, so in addition, in addition to the essential oils that I use for digestion. Um, I also take these, and they are doctor formulated probiotics once daily prenatal. And so these are specifically formulated for during pregnancy. Um, I actually was taking the same brand of just like women's probiotics uh, before I got pregnant and then switched to these as soon as I found out. So. Um, Probiotics are incredibly, incredibly helpful for tummy trouble, so good brand. All right, and then in the same um, kind of realm, just with supplements, um, I started off taking these prenatal vitamins, and these are the brand Pre-Mama Wellness. Um, and I loved these at first because they are, um, they have like a peppermint tab in them. So they're minty and so they're, um, really, they're easy if you have a lot of nausea like I did. Um, 
but then I found out that nothing like wrong with these at all but um, my doctor told me that because they have the DHA I believe that's what it was the DHA um, that can contribute to nausea in the first trimester so she recommended that I switch to a prenatal at least during the first trimester um, that did not have the DHA and so I found these ones at Whole Foods and they are My Kind Organics Whole Food Gummies Prenatal Multi Organic Fruit and Vitamin Chews. So these ones do not have DHA, um, but they are loaded up with all the good stuff. And I think it's actually Alicia, yeah, Alicia Silverstone um, is involved with this brand, Garden of Life. Her brand is always going to be vegan because that's very important to her. Um, but it's all like real food ingredients and I love that. Um, it says nine whole fruits in every bottle, so this is a good one. Uh, but just in general, must have for uh, pregnancy is a good prenatal vitamin. And um, what you want to look for in any prenatal vitamin that you take, if possible, um, is that the vitamin uses folate instead of folic acid because they're. Um, two different forms of the same thing, um, but folate is the natural version and then folic acid is the synthetic version and you know, this is my preference, um, but I think it's better to have the natural version when possible. Um, so something to look out for in the ingredients list. So um, the next thing on my list uh, were different things to help with my bloating and just kind of swelling as I progressed and it happened earlier than I was expecting it to um, and these were bra extenders so these help extend the longevity of your bra once you start you know <laughs> growing um, so that's awesome it just hooks in one side and then you hook your bra in to the other side and it's awesome um, at about six weeks which was way earlier than I expected um, my wedding and engagement ring stops fitting so um, at first I had this um, silicone band um, and uh, that was for like working out and stuff so I had that and so I started wearing that and then my husband ordered me some nicer like nicer almost real looking fake rings to wear through the rest of my pregnancy so that was nice and then I also, for nausea, um, which I had a ton of in the first trimester, I got these um, C bands. And so these little things, they put a natural um, like pressure point. You put them on your wrist and you're supposed to do like three fingers and then put the dot like right underneath that and that is supposed to put pressure on a point that helps relieve nausea like an acupressure point so those were helpful and then um, I'm a little hippy dippy so this is something that I really really liked and um, I keep this crystal with me like wherever I go basically it's unakite and it's it's like red and green, but basically um, this crystal is associated with your heart chakra and it's also associated with um, bonding basically during pregnancy between um, mother and baby. Um, and so I have been carrying this with me since I got pregnant and I think that it is helping. So um, it all just, you know, if, if you are into that kind of thing, great. Um, this is a good one to have. I really like it. Um, but if you're not, don't worry about it. <laughs> and let's see. Okay. And then I also, this has been an absolute lifesaver for me. This is Unisom. This was recommended by my doctor for nausea. I take it or was taking it during the first trimester, basically every night. Um, and then the, like after I started taking it, um, the one time that I forgot to take it at night, the next day is the only time that I actually experience like 
true morning sickness and threw up. Um, so I was like, all right, I know for sure that's helping because it definitely had prevented it all the other days that I was taking it. So that was absolutely huge for me. Um, a couple other things. Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge tea drinker. So these two teas. This one is traditional medicinals pregnancy tea. Um, it just tastes really good. I really like that. Um, and then this one is pink stork morning sickness ginger peach nausea tea. So that was also helpful for me for my nausea was that um, ginger is a really good one. It's really, um, I don't use it in like my essential oil blends like for my tummy potion that I was talking about earlier, uh, but it is in like the um, doTERRA supplements that I'm taking. Um, but it's just like an overpowering scent for me, so I don't love it like actually on my body. So there is that. And then last but not least are the rest of the books that I have been reading. And keep in mind, I have already read a bunch of pregnancy birth books. Um, because I'm studying to be a doula. But this is the stack that I've been reading since I got pregnant. So we have The Mindful Mom to Be, I'll link all of these below. Real Food for Pregnancy, What to Expect When You're Expecting, The Quintessential Pregnancy Book, The Whole Nine Months, Mama Natural, and nurture. So those are the ones that I'm getting through. Um, a lot of them do go either like trimester by trimester, or month by month, or even week by week. And I really do like that because I can follow along as I go through my pregnancy with the books. And then um, my favorite out of those are these two, Mama Natural and the Mindful Mom to Be. <laughs> I, I just knocked my camera down so um, these are my two favorites out of those books but my absolute favorite like most comprehensive kind of book about pregnancy and childbirth and all that that I've ever read is this one pregnancy childbirth and the newborn I do just love this because it, it just gives you so much information like these are all my all my notes in it that I just absolutely loves the information that I found in there. So, oh my gosh, I'm getting so messy. Um, so yeah, that is my super comprehensive list of must-haves for my first trimester. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video and found it informational and I hope that you'll pick up some of these um, products if they appeal to you. But uh, again, with the supplements, just make sure you ask your doctor before you start any new supplement. Um, and yeah, until next time. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe if you're interested in more pregnancy content. And I will see you next time. Bye, friends.